In this video, we're gonna harvest, wash, and create a yeast starter to brew our farmhouse ale. In case you missed it, we brewed a crazy beer with the yeast from a log. We sent the log back to our friend a while ago, but I wanted to brew the beer again. Since we no longer have the log, I had to create a yeast starter to ferment this beer. Using the process I'm about to explain, you can harvest yeast from pretty much any beer, not specific to the log. If you have a fermenter laying around with some stuff in it, why don't you go ahead and use it? Don't just let it sit there. Here are the steps I'll be using to harvest yeast from the fermenter. We got leftover yeast and dregs from one of our log beer fermentations. So we're just gonna go ahead and harvest the yeast. What I always like to do is add about a half gallon of distilled water just to get this slurry all mixed together. And like I said, we're just gonna try and get that top layer And basically we're just trying to get everything in the suspension. So we're just gonna go ahead, take this and pour them into the jars. And we're gonna put these in the fridge. It's Friday today. On Monday, we should see a nice layer of yeast at the bottom. We're making a two liter starter. Here are the steps I'll be following to make a yeast starter with our harvested yeast. So, two liters of water. And then we're gonna do 200 grams of dry malt extract. It's only two liters, so it'll come up to boil pretty quick. Pro. Put it in the sink with some cold water, let it chill. The wort is chilled down. We got our washed log yeast. I'm gonna go ahead and decant most of the uh, liquid off the top, leaving the yeast at the bottom behind. And then we're gonna <clears throat> just swirl it up. So it looks like we got it all off the bottom. It smells good. We're gonna turn our stir plate on. Today we're brewing a farmhouse ale with Pilsner malt, Citra hops, and yeast that we harvested from the log we used in a couple of our videos. To start off the brew day, I'm gonna fill the kettle with seven gallons of water. While we're waiting for the kettle to reach 155 degrees, we're gonna weigh out 11 pounds of Pilsner malt and grind it so it's ready to go. We're gonna hook up our hoses to recirculate the mash. Looks pretty good to me. I'm brewing solo today, feeling kind of lazy. So I'm gonna use our hook. We're gonna let our grains drain for 10 minutes and start our 60 minute boil. Simple hop additions for this beer. We're doing a 30 minute addition, half an ounce, and then we'll do a half an ounce at flame out. Oh yeah, last top addition. This is our flame out addition. We gotta go ahead and kill the power first and uh, add our last half ounce citra. And then go ahead and get our hoses connected, get the chiller hooked up and start chilling her down. We're just gonna chill until we're mid to high 60s on the uh, controller here. We are chilled down. We're just gonna transfer the work into our fermenter. So I'm gonna grab our yeast starter. Um, this is the yeast starter we made. It's been on the stir plate for 36 hours or so. Yeah, they just didn't want gangbusters. So I'm just gonna add the whole thing. Shouldn't add too much flavor or anything to the beer, so I'm not gonna worry about decanting or anything like that. I'm gonna try and not get the magnet in there. I'm 
And you can see I brought our volume up quite a ways, so we'll easily get the five gallons into the keg. The yeast should be happy. Give it the old shake. Oh my oh, shit. Could you imagine? I would have just went home. Went back to bed. And then we're gonna ferment this at 68. So I'm gonna pop it in, pie ferment it for three weeks and uh, get it in the keg and carve it up and... All right, looks like we're sitting for our starting gravity. I'm gonna go with 1053. All right, so we're tasting the Wild Farmhouse Ale. It's actually quite nice. Pretty much what you want like on a warm, you know, spring or summer day. The yeast character is pretty dominant in this beer and that's kind of the, the whole goal behind washing and saving the yeast. You know, it's not a hard process. We show the steps in this video. Uh, it takes a little bit of effort, but no real special equipment. If you're brewing beer, you have everything you need already. So for us, it was easy to wash the yeast and then save some in the uh, mason jars. And then that just gives us the ability to make a yeast starter out of those jars and, and brew another beer. Very reminiscent of the beer we brewed with the original log, which makes sense since we harvested the yeast for this beer. Main difference um, noticing is just this has way more lime character. And then on the back of the tongue, you still kind of get, we just call it the log character. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, but it's kind of just the, the flavor that we associate with the log. But super clean beer, super crisp. If you wanted to brew this beer, obviously you don't have our log, so it's gonna be different. But you could use a Saison yeast or like a farmhouse ale yeast. But you kind of want something that has a little funky esters, maybe something that brings a little bit of fruitiness to the finished beer. Let us know, you know, what weird yeast you're hoarding in your fridge and you know, it might be uh, kind of interesting to see what people got laying around. So anyway, beer turned out great. Real happy with the process and the beer. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out our website, clawhammersupply.com, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.